but it all goes down to having a database, having yes. a system. So that, so, so that makes the question because we were talking about you know, databases and, and information and data from testing, contact tracing, all the way to sa mga, dito sa mga QR codes that are being used by different LGUs. It's always a question that comes up. So it begs the question, eh, bakit nga ba wala yung database? I mean, why, ha, bakit now that we're testing, again, this does not seem to have been anticipated that this could have been uh, on the back end supported by database that all LGUs and for that matter, the national government can all use. Yeah, in fairness, no? the Department of uh, Information and Communications Technology, DICT, has already, uh, as of yesterday, encoded about 3.6 million of the 12 million vaccinees, okay? And uh, it has also encoded out of the 3.6 million vaccinees, about 867,000, those with two jobs already. Mm. So it's a work in progress. But you're right. Uh, we cannot do this without the technology underpinning. Mm. So that is uh, what is uh, being pursued right now by the DICT no? mm. with the uh, support of uh, the local government units who already adopted, for example, their own uh, contact tracing apps, mm. yung mga ibang mga apps nila, magkakaroon na interoperability na. Mm. So, yung DICT will uh, provide uh, instant um, authentication or certification that a person has already been uh, jabbed using the phone. You know, like what they do in America or in uh, mm. other countries, telepono na lang eh, naka-QR code, doon makikita mo. Uh, job, you know, with uh, with uh, Pfizer, lot number. So, pamunta na tayo dyan. But in the interim, uh, yung max card muna tayo and hopefully um, walang mang memeke kasi pagka pineke ito, it's a serious offense. It is a falsification of a public document. No? Mm -hmm. Medyo mabigat ang kaparusahan dito. Sir, two months ago so, kasi nilaunch yung Stay Safe app. Uh, is there any way to integrate that with Stay Safe, for example? Because it's already there. I mean, uh, Stay Safe is already yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure. Secretary, with all due respect, ha, gumagamit ako ng Stay Safe. Eh. Ang dali-daling ipeke ng information doon. And kapag medyo mahina yung ano yung connection, wala na, that's it. In fact, Hello, yung mga malls, hindi na ginagamit. Maraming malls, hindi ginagamit. Eh. But anyway... Hindi ba, hindi ba dapat napag-usapan muna hmm. yan na dapat eh, may database o kaya kahit man lang may merong security feature or QR, uniform QR code na ilagay dun sa vaccination cards? Kasi sabi ni Mayor Abi Binay kanina, ang tagal-tagal na daw pinag-uusapan, DICT yung, yes. ano, yung, hmm. yung maayos sa ng vaccination card na yan, ang database, hanggang ngayon daw wala pa. Secretary, I mean, because I think a lot of our viewers might be thinking the same thing. When you sign up for vaccination, more often than not, except for Manila that allowed walk-ins, but when you sign up for, a, you go through a website, you use an app, more often than not, it generates a QR code, all the elements are there, and people have already volunteered all of their information, nandun yung appointment, nandun yung schedule, even people who miss their schedules get alerts on their phones. Ta oh, na mismo ah, so you're officially listed as a um, no show, and so on. But the point is, all the elements were there for people who showed up. Why did it not? Why why did the data stop there and seem to have gone nowhere? Yeah, you know the uh, best person to answer that is the USEC, si Mani Kaintik. No, I'm not a techie guy. May, mahirap uh, sagutin yung uh, tanong ninyo, save for the fact that uh, my latest information is pagdating dito sa vaccine uh, card authentication, uh, this will soon be supplanted by uh, the vaccine information management system that's being set up. Uh, it has begun development. It continues to evolve. So according to USAC Manica in tip, uh, the National Vaccine Operations Center has already warned, in fact, the LGUs that you have to uh, upload your uh, uh, names of your vaccinees. No? 
and uh, this will be encoded in the database using the uh, veins of uh, the ICT. So, antayin na natin kasi naka 3.6 million na eh, in just, uh, uh, I think, 10 days. Uh, so, palagay ko, meron silang uh, milestone uh, by July 15, 50% yata, kailangan nakapasok na. And by July 31st, lahat na. Baka maging real time na nga daw. So, let's be a bit more patient, uh, but the system is already there. So it's really just waiting for that system to mature uh, until such time that there's higher confidence in using this. Because last week kasi nung nirun nila, pagka in-access mo, pagka in-access mo, ano yung yari, uh, records cannot be found.